Today we're going to be talking about the top things happening to the Avengers cast right now. Avengers is the ever-encompassing franchise that has left many fans in tears after Avengers Endgame, knowing that the Infinity Saga of the Marvel Cinematic Universe has come to an end. Two years later, some are still crying over the last emotional moments of the finale. The Infinity Saga spawned over three phases, and MCU has already entered the post-pandemic Phase 4 with a bang in 2021, with shows like WandaVision, Loki, and The Falcon, and The Winter Soldier, and movies Black Widow and Shang-Chi, and The Legend of the Ten Rings. But what has happened to the original cast of the Avengers? Let's find out. Make sure you stick around until number one so you don't miss out on this coverage of the latest goings on for these ex-Marvel stars. A lot of surprises are in store, so hold on until the end. Let's get into the video. Oh, and don't forget, before we go any further, remember to smash the like button and subscribe to our channel for more content. Number 10. Chris Evans as Captain America Chris Evans starred as Captain America as the titular character in 2011. As the first Avenger, Steve Rogers led the pack in the last film after uttering the iconic words, Avengers Assemble, as they charged towards the supervillain Thanos. After retiring from the lead role to pass the mantle to the new Captain America, as seen in Marvel Studios series The Falcon and The Winter Soldier, Chris appeared in the two new movies which came out outside of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, namely The Red Sea Diving Resort and Knives Out. However, Chris really hit a home run with his performance in the star-studded murder mystery Knives Out from writer-director Ryan Johnson, standing out amongst a sea of great performances. And in keeping with his unpredictable performances, Evans also joined Apple TV Plus's Defending Jacob, a limited-run series based on the novel of the same name. Chris is also going infinity and beyond as Buzz Lightyear, the astronaut, for Pixar's animated movie Lightyear. He's also working with previous Marvel director Joe Russo on the film The Grey Man. Number 9. Robert Downey Jr. as Iron Man Robert Downey Jr. has played many characters, but is mostly known as Tony Stark. He's oftentimes compared to the character for having comparable traits to the Marvel superhero. However, this role has been played for more than 10 years, and it seems that Robert has moved on from the MCU after that momentous exit on screen, as he recently changed his profile photo from wearing the Iron Man suit. It's been years anyway since Endgame, and Robert has already appeared in Doolittle a year later. As opposed to the neoteric Iron Man, Dr. John Doolittle is a man from the 19th century who can speak to animals. Apart from this movie, Robert is also expected to appear in Jamie Foxx's All-Star Weekend, and the third installment of the film series Sherlock Holmes. The actor has put a lot of work into Team Downey, the production company he runs with his wife, Susan Downey. In addition to upcoming TV movies, as well as a new take on Perry Mason, Downey Jr. is also focusing on becoming more of a producer in his post-Marvel life. Number 8. Scarlett Johansson as Black Widow Black Widow, known as Natasha Romanoff, is one of the first members recruited into the Avengers. She had one of the best entrances in the MCU, and thanks are also in order for the actress who brought her to life, Scarlett Johansson. Perhaps the actor with the most exciting post-Endgame career has been Scarlett, who has delivered two critically acclaimed performances in 2019. Right after Endgame, fans were floored by Scarlett's remarkable performance in Marriage Story and Jojo Rabbit. She then returned to the movie Black Widow to depict Natasha's history, which also serves as a kickoff for Phase 4. Soon, fans can appreciate Scarlett's acting chops in Bride, an Apple film that the actress will produce and star in as well. In the meantime, Scarlett was busy with the arrival of her first child with Colin Jost. Other projects on the horizon include a return to the role of punk rock porcupine Ash in animated sequel Sing 2, plus a reunion with Chris Evans could be on the cards as she's rumored to star in Little Shop of Horrors as Audrey. Number 7. Mark Ruffalo as Hulk Playing the mean and green Hulk is a lovable man by the name of Mark Ruffalo. He has made Hulk as likeable as Bruce Banner, giving Marvel fans a few lines and hilarious scenes to work with. His later appearances in the MCU have been a favorite as well. While a lot of fans are hopeful for the return of Hulk in future Marvel films, both to continue his origin or simply appear in She-Hulk, there have been no official confirmations from the creators. He's also joining 
filming Poor Things with Emma Stone and Willem Dafoe soon. Mark has been preoccupied reuniting with 13 Going On 30 co-star Jennifer Garner and raising his voice regarding significant social, political, and environmental issues. Mark will also appear in Derek San Francis. TV show I Know This Much Is True, in a dual role of identical twin brothers. He's also going to appear in JFK assassination drama Newsflash as Don Kewitt alongside Chris Pine, replacing previously announced Seth Rogen as legendary newscaster Walter Cronkite. His name has also been attached to Bong Joon-ho and Adam McKay's Parasite TV series that's been developed for HBO. For now, you may sit back and browse through Mark's social media pages to get the most out of where he's active. Number 6. Chris Hemsworth as Thor The Thunder God has played a key role in the Marvel franchise. Although Chris Hemsworth's Thor has had an eventful character arc, the beloved character will return after Endgame. Chris has already starred in a film outside of Marvel, particularly in another otherworldly movie, Men in Black, International, and the action-packed movie Extraction. Then, Chris will return in Thor, Love and Thunder, the fourth Thor movie, which also sees the return of Natalie Portman's Jane Foster, and more Marvel movies apart from the second installment of Extraction. Chris is also going to be teaming up with Joker director Todd Phillips to produce and star in a biopic of wrestling superstar Hulk Hogan. Think we've missed anything about these stars? Well, let us know in the comments below, but do that at the end of the video. For now, let's carry on. Number 5. Brie Larson as Captain Marvel Captain Marvel is the only superhero who was strong enough to take Thanos' hits, and was played by none other than Brie Larson. Although an origin story has already been released to fans following her appearances in the Affinity Saga movies, this is not the end for Captain Marvel. We're set to see more of Brie Larson on screen as Carol Danvers in future Marvel movies and the TV show Miss Marvel. Recently, Brie has been enjoying her time off screen, as well as by arriving on the opening day of Disneyland's Avengers Campus. But there has been a lot of speculation around her future with MCU, as she did not reprise the voice character in What If, the animated series in Phase 4, while most of her co-stars return to the fold. However, outside the Marvel Cinematic Universe, Brie will also appear in an Apple series, Lessons in Chemistry, and the Netflix movie Lady Business. Number 4. Jeremy Renner as Hawkeye Finally, Jeremy Renner's Clint Barton is going to have his time in the spotlight as he goes on another adventure in the miniseries Hawkeye, which is soon going to be available on Disney+. The actors also provided the voice for Hawkeye in Marvel's first animated series, What If, which will soon be released. Besides Jeremy's movie career, he's also ventured into music. Jeremy's got an impressive singing voice, and he can play different instruments as well. He's already released his first extended play titled The Medicine, apart from his other tracks garnering more than 2 million streams on Spotify. So while Jeremy the actor takes a backseat till the next assignment, Jeremy the musician seems to already be making waves. Number 3. Tom Holland as Spider-Man Your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man has been exploring other roles outside of Marvel lately. Even after Tom Holland's Spider-Man was dropped from the Marvel Cinematic Universe in 2020, Tom is back in the game after Marvel Studios and Sony Pictures agreed to produce Spider-Man No Way Home. However, there's no certainty whether Tom is going to return to the Marvel realm after that. Nevertheless, you can still watch Tom's incredible and emotional range in darker films like The Devil All the Time, Cherry, and Chaos Walking. The actor will also star in the adventure film Uncharted, based on the famous video game of the same name. Fans will still be waiting for Tom as Spider-Man, and his popularity with the character will surely make MCU keep him in the loop. Number 2. Benedict Cumberbatch as Doctor Strange Doctor Strange will definitely return in the future Marvel films, including Multiverse of Madness. But while Benedict Cumberbatch has been engaged in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, he's also been quite busy filming other movies, including 1917 and The Courier. Benedict will also appear in The Power of the Dog, Lewis Wayne, and Rogue Mail. Hopefully, Benedict's schedule is going to clear up in the future, as well as Martin Freeman's, so both can film BBC's long-awaited Sherlock Holmes. Number 1. The Avengers 5 The team-up movie was conspicuously absent from Marvel's big Phase 4 announcement, way back at Comic-Con 2019. In the time since, Despite a wealth of scheduling changes and subsequent movies and shows being confirmed and released, there's been no mention of Avengers 5. The original team has almost completely been deconstructed. Black Widow and Iron Man are dead, 
Captain America is an old man, and Thor was jetted off into space with the Guardians. Sam Wilson is Falcon no longer, having taken up the mantle of Captain America, while Hawkeye and Hulk make up the remaining heroes from the original lineup. Other heroes like Spider-Man, Valkyrie, War Machine, Winter Soldier, and Doctor Strange are still about in the MCU, but there are plenty of candidates for a new version of the team. There have been numerous rumors that films based on New Avengers, Young Avengers, and the evil version of the team, the Dark Avengers, are in development. That's all for today, guys. We hope you liked this video, and thank you for watching. 